Well, hello everybody in YouTube land. I'm not going to say what's up because everyone says what's up in America, which is where I, I, I have moved. I am now in America. I'm freaking out. Can you tell? Uh, this time I'm in Hollywood. Moved to LA. Why not? Brought the business with us. Uh, us being me and my partner. We do showreels, videography, voice demos, music lessons. I feel I'm, I'm setting it up like I'm going to say more, but I'm not. That's it. They're the four things we do. Uh, sorry about the sound on this. My lapels are somewhere in the bags. We just moved. I just wanted to get this review out because I felt like doing a review. We've got some new lights. There's some behind me. Got a hair light up here. Got my key light up here. I'm on my trusty GH5. Haven't jumped on the Blackmagic bandwagon just yet, but I'm sure we will with the new Pocket Cinema 4K coming out, which everyone's very excited about. Probably gonna get an Ursa Mini Pro to go with that. Might keep this GH5 for those handheld running gun shots, because that stabilized sensor is freaking amazing. Anyway, it's not why I'm here. By the way, check out our website, www.youngonestudio.com. See what we do. If you like our services, give us a shout. We want to work with you. Um, what I'm doing this review for are uh, this and this. How well am I framed? I'm on the GH5. Screen's flipped out. It was good enough. I want to talk about these guys. So, before I had these, these are my first American monitors, American monitors. I had the Focal Solo 6, which were incredible. They were the best monitors I've ever had. Um, and then I stepped down. What did I have? I sold my Focals and I bought, that's how amazing they were. Can you tell I can't even, oh, that's right, I had the Mackies. Mackie MR6s, no, HR6s, Mark IIs. Um, I never did a review on them. That was right in that mix of us packing everything up to move to America. Uh, they were great. They were really good. They were actually probably the best budget mon budget professional monitor I've ever used. They were very, very good. Reminded me of the Neumann. The little Neumann 5 inchy. Yeah, very neutral. Uh, before those, I had the Focal Solo 6, which are the best monitors I've ever used. Before those, I had the Presona Scepter 6. They're the best monitors I've ever used from performance to price point. And when I make a bit of cash here from doing all this stuff again, they're probably what I'm going to buy. Uh, maybe the 8, because this room is massive. I've got so much room in here. So what have I got now? I have the M Audio M3. Eight, which means they are three-way with an eight-inch woofer and a five-inch mid and then a tweeter tucked into that mid. Um, couldn't find much on these, to be honest. Finding, reading reviews and stuff and finding people talking about them, it was pretty much, the only comments I got was like, yeah, 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 like budget three-way monitor, they, they sound great. Um, didn't give me much to go by. Some people saying that where the crossover points are on these, where they dip in their frequency naturally just because they are budget speakers, um, it is a bit detrimental. They dip, I think, in the most important frequencies. There's like that between one to 3,000 range in there. Um, but from what I gather, this isn't a tech spec review. You can jump on the website, which I have open on both of my screens here. Um, you can jump on the website for specs and numbers and all that kind of stuff. They'll tell you what's inside of these. Um, look, they're, they're budget Chinese components inside. The woofer's a carbon fiber, uh, it's a silk dome tweeter, which is lovely. Um, coming from the Focals, I compare everything to those Focals because they're the best speakers I've ever had. Uh, they're not as detailed, they're not as clear, they don't play as high, the bottom end isn't as clean. Um, those Focals were two and a half grand, I got these for 400 bucks. A set of three-way monitors for 400 bucks, I mean 400 bucks American, you do the math, I'm from Australia. Uh, there's some compromises I was willing to make. I didn't want to get a sub, but I wanted to be able to hear those low notes because I do a lot of film scoring in here as well, as well as music. Uh, so for film stuff, there's a lot of LFE work. There's a lot of just low rumbling ambient kind of work. 
you're not going to get the same as a dedicated 10 inch or 12 inch sub, you know, where you can really dial in that perfect balance, feel the effect that kind of scoring is going to have on your audience. But as far as just getting non-localized, so these play low enough that, of course they do, I mean, they're eight inch woofers in each one, that I still get the effect of the rumble and it's not passing into that mid range where I go, well, that bottom end's coming from here and here. It's proper bottom end, so it just fills the room without any direction. Um, the domes are very soft is in terms of sound. Uh, the scepters, like I said, scepters are probably the most stereo, stereoscopic. I feel like that's not the word I'm meant to be using right now. I'm gonna use it. The focal stereo image is the best I've ever heard, period. The focals, the scepters, yeah, the scepter stereo image. The focals detail, best I've ever heard from a two-way monitor, period. These shine because they are a three-way. There is no way I'd buy these in a two-way. If there was a two-way model of these speakers, no, don't waste your money. What I feel like you get, you get all your bottom end, you don't need a sub. Um, like if you need that, for me it's emotional intent. If you need to really understand the emotional intent, I can figure it out from here, but if you wanna get that visceral feedback from your sub, if you're scoring a film, um, you can get it from these, you gotta work a bit harder. Uh, I even turned the bottom end up on these. I've, I've probably thrown them out of whack a bit. I'm not getting an honest monitor experience right now. Uh, that's just where I am in my current project. I can get away with doing that, it doesn't matter. The top end was really smooth. Now, Silk Dome tweeters are notorious for this. A lot of people say it allows you to go for really long listening sessions and working sessions, no fatigue. I cranked them up, I went to like plus three, plus four dB on the high end for these. Um, still not fatiguing at all. I just needed, um, I just needed that crisp. I don't want to say sharp, because sharp sounds irritating. I just needed that crisp top end. Giving it a three, four bump uh, seemed to have fixed it. The overall sound of these, they are a little bit like this. There's a bit of a U going on. Uh, like I said, $400, maybe, I think it's like 440, some weird price. 440 bucks for two three-way monitors. There's a funny thing, I reckon, where you got all these two-way monitors, right? All these budget, all these budget to semi-pro two-way monitors. Uh, the Mackie sixes, the Atom seven Xs. Uh, I don't want to chuck Genelec in there. Genelec is a higher class, but even Genelec, Sonodyne, um, you go down again, don't think about KRKs. The VXT range door KRKs, they're all gonna work for you and they're all gonna work in that room, but they're all gonna be two-way, right? You're just switching between two-way speakers. Um, Yamaha HS7s, HS8s, two-way speakers. Don't get HS8s, an eight-inch woofer to a tweeter, that, hole in the middle, something's weird about that, which leads me to these. I got these because I wanted to have my first pair of three-way monitors. All my money in the American move went into other stuff in my studio that's more important to me right now than like $5,000 monitors. Um, if you want to get into the world of three-way monitors, you don't have a lot of money to spend, this is your best option. They're exactly what I was expecting. They first listening and I go, wow, they perform like for uh, like a thousand or two thousand dollar speakers. They don't. Um, do they perform like really, really good two ways? Yeah. Do they perform like really, really good three ways? No. What they lack for in terms of their internal components, and I think we get there's some slightly off cabinet sounds coming from them. They're not the most engineered monitors you'll ever find. Um, as two ways they suck, as three ways they're awesome. The three way aspect is what makes them a good buy. If they weren't three way, hell no, don't get these. Because they're three way, yeah, having that split really does bring out stuff that two ways, two ways, good two ways will give you a more honest picture. These will bring out details that those two ways almost physically can't just because of that third 
speaker configuration going on here. In saying that, the PreSonus uh, scepters with their coaxial design, they're a different beast altogether. They're, I wouldn't call those two ways. They sound, they sound almost holographic. Like you can't hear that split between the horn and the bottom. And because of that, you, you can't even really close your eyes and go, it's a three-way, it's a two-way, it's a four-way. It's just this sound that comes at you. The focals, again, I talk about these because I've owned them both for quite a long time. The focals will let you hear like how much felt is left on the kick of the, um, the drum pedal. Things like, <laughs> you can hear like dust flinging off your snares and your hi-hats. I'm kidding, but they are that detailed, they're insane. These, I turn my bottom end up to give me more of that sub experience. I turn my top, my highs way up because they're super laid back. Where they are now, I'm dumb happy with them. I probably wouldn't go mastering any albums on these. Mixing my own tracks, 100%, I'm fine doing it on these. They're not gonna be as accurate as, I don't think my final mix is gonna be as good as I was getting out of my focals. Um, yeah, yeah, like I'm, I'm doing this just because I couldn't find anyone talking about these. I think they're discontinued, maybe. They're on the website. This is on the M Audio website behind me. But everywhere I was trying to find to actually buy some new, didn't exist. Found a guy in LA who funnily enough was selling these to buy the Focal Solo 6. Uh, one day, I'll move back to something else. But for now, these suckers. If you're scoring film, or if you're writing for movies or writing for film, uh, these just give you a beautiful, big, full sound. If you want kick-ass home speakers, we just had a concert outside here. We had a couple of uh, artists play. We had a classical violinist playing. We had an acoustic kind of country R&B singer playing. Uh, I mixed him, uh, hooked him up to my Mackie Mix 8 here, which I'll do a review on later. Everyone knows what a Mackie mix, Mixer is. Um, playing through these, sounded lush. They're beautiful speaker speakers, running as just stereo speakers. They are great. As monitors, they're okay. They are definitely okay. They're not amazing. They're okay to great. Only because they're three-way, if they're two-way, no. That third speaker saves them, saves their asses and gives you something special in these. If, you've, if you're looking for your first set of three-way monitors, you have like four or 500 bucks to spend, get them secondhand. I feel like these fly through the secondhand market pretty fast. Um, they're big. I mean, I don't know if you can tell from sitting near them right now. Like I'm in front and I'm focused on me, so these might be out of focus a little bit. But uh, they are big. You know how big an eight inch speaker is. It's a big speaker, so the cabinets are gonna be big. Again, that's the only reason I got, oh, well, not the only, but one of the main reasons I got them. Big, big room. First time I could actually have space to rock speakers like this. So we got them. Anyway, guys, I'm just gonna leave it there. I just wanted to talk about these because no one has talked about them. Would I get these over good two ways? Probably not. If some PreSonus came up, Scepter 6, for maybe even Scepter 8, I really want to try those. If they came up for like five, 600 bucks, I'd sell these and buy those instantly. But that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, if some really good two ways came up, like I'm not talking fo focal solo two ways, maybe those Mackies and stuff again, if they came up, would I buy them? No, no I wouldn't. I'd stick to these, KRK VXTs, nah. Atom A7Xs, nah, definitely not. Um, these give you something different. Three ways, they're just different animal. They sound different. Uh, good, good three ways. A million times sound different, right? If you're rocking like, oh, that's my phone. Hey. If you're rocking focal three ways, then you're rocking focal three ways. Atom three ways, like not the A7 series, the S series, I think, SVs. Uh, you know, completely different league, but you can either buy a car or you buy those monitors. So hey, it's up to you. Anyway, that's my rambling on these speakers. Like I said, it's not a techie review. If you wanna know the numbers and what's inside of them, jump on the website. They're definitely cheap Chinese components inside. That's why they don't really cost anything and have this really nice wooden finish. The finish on the outside is beautiful, by the way. I mean, they look really sexy, but to me, they look like sexy stereo speakers. They still don't really look like monitors. 
Um, carbon, uh, uh, Kevlar, carbon fiber Kevlar, cones, silk dome, in the tweeters. The coaxial up top, which I think is okay. Preston and Scepter do the coaxial thing perfectly at the moment with their time delay tech built into the speakers. If you got the room and you got a bit of coin and you want to play around with three-way speakers, jump on the M Audio bandwagon. Uh, that's it for me, guys. I'm, again, going to tag the business, www.youngonestudio.com for videography services, show reels, voice demos, and music lessons. Yes, it's a weird combination, but between me and my now wife, I am married, even though I'm not wearing a ring, we do a bunch of random stuff. Um, cool. Peace out, guys. I will speak to you soon. See ya.